Alright, good evening everybody. This is Luke Klein here tuning back into another video. How has it been? Yes, it's been a while since we've done a vacuum save video. About three or four days now. And I just acquired these two and saved them all up. And I thought, why not make a vacuum video on them? Because you guys are loving the content. I can't thank you guys enough for the support that you guys have given the channel. Um, definitely keep commenting on those videos after you watch them. I like and I'm liking what I'm seeing. So let's keep that up. That's a great trend. So let's go ahead and give you a rundown of the machines. I have a pretty long story time for each of them today, but it does get a little bit emotional and it's just gonna be awesome overall. So on your left hand side here. I bet you don't see a vacuum in this good of a condition every day. So what this is on your left hand side is a 2015 Bissell Power Force Helix. Okay. And over on your left hand side, you, bleh, excuse me, your right hand side. Hmm, wonder what this little tiny honeybee hiding here is. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you guys. So... This vacuum is a Eureka the Boss Superlight, which is a bagless upright vacuum with a motor-driven brush roll with 16.0 cleaning effectiveness power per amp, which I think is very cool. It's a two-amp motor. Now, my apologies, guys. It does this one when we get to the test later. It does sound like a shop vac. I do apologize about that. But it does have a bad motor bearing on it. But it still sounds good enough that I thought I'd run it for you guys for a couple minutes. So, story time today begins with the one that took me the longest to do. This 2015 Bissell Power Force Helix. Okie dokie, so you know what time it is. It's time for story time. Okay, so what I got for you guys today is a 2015 Bissell Power Force Helix. I absolutely love this guy. He has been awesome around here for me recently. This is a Model 1240. Okay, so it didn't come with any attachments. And as you guys can see, it's very nice and very, very clean. Hmm, I wonder who made that happen. <laughs> so, and let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom base plate here. One second, going to lower that to the ground nice and easy. There we go. So, as you guys can see, this looks pretty good. The brush roll is fantastic. Ignore that dirt right there. So, as you guys, and by the way, it was so dirty I couldn't even tell it had one at first. It was that bad, literally. But, okay, so let's set the vacuum back up now. And let's go ahead and tell you about its story about how I saved it. So, I got this machine from a guy in downtown Lake Trobe. Um, so, I forget the name of his shop. But he has like 15, 20 vacuums out front that are for sale. And then he and then he has a basement full of them. And then he's like, I don't let many people do this. But I'm going to let you go downstairs and take a look at this one. Like, take a look at the vacuums down there and see which ones you like. Because I asked him if he had any drunk bad ones that he hasn't cleaned out yet. And stuff. And then he said, I don't let many people do this. And... Blah blah blah. So it was absolutely amazing the amount of vacuums he had down there. Uh, he had virtually every brand you could possibly think of down there. It it was insane. But out of nowhere, when I turned the quarter, I noticed this, and this was a Bissell Power Force Helix bagless, and I've wanted this machine for a while now. And I'm so happy I got it. Now, but anyhow, 
I almost bought a bagged Bissell 3552. Again, I had a maroon one, but I'm like, you don't find these things every day. People are going for some of the bagged versions a lot more than some of these bagless versions. So I'm like, get it while supplies last. So I went ahead and bought the bagless one here. And man, does it, it, it had an awful odor to it whenever I first got it. But man, did that change the second I cleaned this thing out. So, down here, it's a two-tank system. So what that means is your filter down here and your dirt bin never, ever touch. So this is how that works. So you pull this bin out. Right like that. And then down here is your filter. And as you guys can see, I cleaned that out real nice. And the whole vacuum just looks really nice overall. And man, will you tell how nice it is whenever I turn this on in a little bit for our test time. It is going to sound absolutely amazing, like something that you have not heard for a while, which is a very nice, satisfying sound to hear. And by the way... Speaking of this story time, it did take me over four hours to do this machine. Like, and just the pre-vacuum alone took an hour and a half. It, it, it was unbelievable. But it, it, it was awesome and it's worth every penny. And if we turn it around to the back here, it didn't come with any attachments. But it has a nice big red power switch, the wheels... Everything I do plan on getting attachments for it very soon here, but man has this thing been awesome since I cleaned it out or, or I did it all day yesterday and Most of today and now this is what I got in return for it. I cleaned it all out yesterday And then it had a funny odor this morning when I turned it on so I Went ahead and sprayed some Febreze down there, and that killed the odor, So, which we are very fortunate about. Okay, so that is story time for the Bissell Power Force Elex. Okay, so now the honeybee hiding has to show itself now. One second here, folks. There we go. Okay. Time for this honeybee to show itself. <laughs> okay, I'm just having fun with you guys. So, the second vacuum, welcome to part two of story time for episode 12 of Vacuum Saved Already. So, this is a Eureka the Boss Super Light. And... Think about the Eureka Smart Fact for a second, or the Eureka the Boss Victory. They're heavy. But this, Eureka decided to do a nice 180 and provide the same amount of pickup power as a Smart Vac, as a Smart Vac or a Eureka the Boss Victory, and turn it into this size. Now, this, this is the one that does have the bad motor bearing. So we'll run it just for a little wee bit. But there's the on-off switch. It has two positions. Um, one is for floors and then one is for carpets. And there is a brush roll down there that activates when you switch it to carpets. Oh, and a little known tip. I see a lot of people do this all the time. Do not vacuum hard floors with carpets when it's on carpets mode. Just push it up one and then floors. And then it picks up absolutely everything. And then obviously you have your off position. The switch is a little bit stiff on it. And you might be wondering, well, Luke, how do you take the bin off on this thing? Well, take a look right here. There is a little lever right here. Pull that sh straight out. Here, I'll just demonstrate it real quick. So you pull that guy straight out. 
And as you guys can see, there's a beautiful inside of the tank too there. And trust me, it didn't look anything like this whenever I brought it home that day. So, and I did get this one from the same guy in Latrobe. And I really like him. He's a nice guy. I recommend him to you. I forget the name of his shop, like I said. But these two are just absolutely phenomenal machines. I've had nothing but great experience with them now. Um, so, my impression on the Superlight is it's lightweight, it's powerful, and it's awesome. And when I say awesome, I mean that with four exclamation marks. It is fantastic. This thing picks up everything in its way, pretty much. And that one did not when I got it, and now it does. So, that being said, you guys know what time it is now. It's time for a test run. So, which one do you guys want to do first? Um... Well, since the Super Light does have a bad motor bearing, we'll just go ahead and get that one out of the way first. But trust me, I'm not putting the Super Light down at all. It is a great vacuum, besides the motor bearing, which I will take a look at pretty soon here. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with the Super Light today. Okay. This does have a pretty nice length cord on it. So that means if you have a small trailer or something, you can easily buzz around in it and get your whole house clean with, or your whole trailer clean with one little cord. Like this. A lot of college kids have these kind of vacuums. And man, are they great for what they do. So, let's go ahead and plug this guy in. We'll go ahead and give it its test run. <clears throat> okay, I do need to put my headphones on for this one because it is a little bit loud with that motor bearing. And yes, I do apologize again if it does sound like a shot back. So I'm not going to run it for too long here. But we got to give the super light a shot. So here comes the Eureka the Boss super light in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> And as you guys can see, that was the Eureka Super Light. Didn't do that bad at all. As you guys heard, it does have that bad motor bearing. So for those reasons, I'm going to keep this one. And I may not find one like it again because Eureka does not make this model anymore. So that was the Eureka the Boss Super Light. And next we'll get to the Bissell Power Force Helix. Okay, so give me one moment to wrap up the core here, and we'll go ahead and get to cleaning with the Power Force Helix. I hope all of you having are having a great weekend. Let me know how it's going down in the comments down below. Mine is going pretty good. I have a couple vacuums I'm going to get in next week, which are a Dyson and a Sanitaire. So I'm excited for that or possibly the next week after that. I'm not sure one of those two, which I'm pretty excited about. So there we go with that one. Now let's go ahead and get to the Bissell Power Force Helix. And this is a vacuum you guys don't want to miss in power because holy man is this thing awesome. Okay, so here we go. And it's hard to find a vacuum in great condition like this 
I like that max brightness setting there. So let's go ahead and get this guy plugged in. I'll leave with you guys in just one moment. Okay, so here's something you don't find every day. Here comes the Bissell Power Force Helix in 3, 2, 1. I'm going to need your guys' help again. Which one did better? The Eureka the Boss Super Light? Or did this Bissell Power Force Helix? And man, is it hard to find a vacuum in this good of condition these days. So, that was the Bissell Power Force Helix. And once I wrap it up, I'll give final thoughts. So both vacuums are officially tested now. Okay, so there you have it. So, let me go ahead and give final thoughts on these two. Okay, so, final thoughts. Both of these machines are terrific. Oh, that's a little bit too bright. There we go. So, as you guys can see, these guys, both of them, did an absolutely excellent job at cleaning their sections. And I recommend both of these machines to anybody who is in need. They're lightweight, they're powerful, and they're easy to use. So, once again here, this is Luke Klein. And thank you for watching this episode, and I'll catch you for episode 13 in the next couple weeks. Bye, guys.